Hi, it's Redheaded Riding It here, Red for short. I'm going to read you William Barclay's Daily Celebration. Um, William Barclay was a theologian, a Scottish theologian, and he believed in the universal salvation of all, so keep that in mind. Things could happen if... Paul said, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Romans 1.16 This actually says more in Greek, for Greek has a way of saying things in a negative form when it really wants to express a very strong positive. It is a way of using an understatement as a very strong statement, and we would really get the meaning of this better if we translated it I am proud of the gospel of Jesus Christ. One G.K. Chesterton, once G.K. Chesterton was criticized because it was said after he had become a Roman Catholic, he would not write a book which did not somewhere or other show that he was a Roman Catholic. His answer was, indeed, I hope that's true. The Christian should always be proud to show that he is a Christian and that not simply in church but everywhere. A man's Christianity should emerge in his work by making him in a slack and shoddy age a man who takes a pride in craftsmanship, who is always conscientious, who is concerned not to do a job as quickly and easily as it can be done, but as well as it can be done. A man's Christianity should be demonstrated in his pleasure, in what he refuses any, and that he refuses any pleasure which would soil him in body, mind, or spirit, or which would threaten someone else's welfare or innocence. A man's Christianity should be obvious in his sport, when I was younger, I played almost every game that can be played. Nowadays, the thing that strikes me most when I watch sport is that gamemanship has ousted sportsmanship. In every game, the Christian should be an honorable sportsman, and the crowd would love it. A man's Christianity should emerge in the fact that he has a social conscience. It is a Christian duty to take a full share in, in political matters, in trade union matters, in local government, not in one party, but in every party. Things could happen if, if every Christian could say and would say, I am proud of the gospel of Jesus Christ. So he's not saying you should get away with anything. <laughs> He's still saying you should live a life because it's, it's a better way to live. Not, you know, you have to be good because you're going to go to hell if you don't. The Bible doesn't say that. We should want to obey God because he loves us and because of our love for him. He said, if you love me, you'll obey me. So don't say that no one cares for you because I do and God does too. Don't forget to pray for Red because Red is praying for you. Bye.